today's video, I'll be sharing with you all of the possible solutions that you can do to fix this annoying issue that is quite particularly common on Windows 10 installations. This video is sponsored by cdkeyoffers.com where you could buy legit software, games, and license keys. Just go ahead and search for the games or software you're looking for, hit the buy now button, and simply enter the coupon code DUDE20 to save up up to 20% from your purchase. After paying, you will now immediately receive the key on your account and be able to activate your software or license key. Going back, sit back and follow carefully the steps that I'll be showing you since I will be showing you a number of solutions that may or may not work for you, hopefully one of which would work out at the end of this video. So the first basic solution that we can do is to go to our task bar, right click on it and click on task manager. Go ahead and go to the details and you'll be able to see here various apps running on your windows. So first go ahead and look for cortana.exe. If you're not able to find that cortana, you could also look for search app or search UI. I'm gonna be scrolling down until we see such. As you can see, it shows up a search app the TXA, although unfortunately it closes itself up. But if you have any processes like Cortana, search app or search UI, go ahead and click on that particular process and go ahead and click on the end task. Once done, go ahead and try and check if your search bar now functions properly. But if that still didn't work for you, we can now go ahead and go to the file explorer. And then go to local disk C or where your Windows installation is installed. And then go to Windows. Look for System32 folder. And look for ctfmon.exe. We have here the ctfmon.exe. Go ahead and right click on this ctfmon.exe file. And then go ahead and click on send to and click on desktop. Which will create a shortcut file. And next, go ahead and go to your desktop and you'll be able to see here the shortcut that was made. ctfmon.exe dash shortcut. Go ahead and right click the ctfmon.exe shortcut file. Go ahead and click on the copy button. Next, go to your start menu and right click on it and then click on the run command. Go ahead and type in here shell colon and then startup and then hit the OK button. It should show you this startup folder. Go ahead and paste the shortcut file that we have just copied a while ago and maybe we could just clean this one up and remove the dash shortcut so right now we have the ctfmon.exe included on our startup and go ahead and restart your computer and see if that actually fixes your issue or your search functionality on your windows 10. if that still didn't work for you we can now go ahead and go to the next step which is to go to the taskbar once again we are going to be right clicking on this start menu button click on the run command Type in here services.msc and make sure that you have administrative privilege on your account. Next, go ahead and scroll down until you see the Windows search service right here. This is the column for the name of the service and we have here the Windows search service. We're going to be maximizing this window so that you can see it more clearly. This might be currently stopped or disabled as you can see right here under the startup type. We're going to be right clicking on this one and go to the properties and set the startup type to automatic. Hit the apply button and once done, we're going to be clicking on the start button right here. Hit the OK button once done and then go ahead and minimize this window first and then go ahead and try and see if your search functionality now works. If that still didn't work, we can now go ahead and try the next solution which is to go to the start menu and then click on this settings icon right here. Under the Windows Settings panel, go ahead and click on the search and then go to Searching Windows and then scroll down until you see here the Advanced Search Indexer Settings. Go ahead and click on the Advanced and under the Troubleshooting Group, go ahead and click on the Rebuild button right here and it will clear and rebuild all the indexes of files on your Windows 10. Once done, hit the close button and just simply wait for the indexing to complete and that might actually work out also to fix your problem. If that still didn't work for you, don't do so as we have still a lot of possible solutions that we can do right now, which is to go to the Microsoft website. We're going to be downloading the Reset Windows Search PowerShell script. Go ahead and download this one. So as you can see right here, I have the Reset Windows Search Box.ps1 or Windows PowerShell script file right here downloaded. We're going to be going to the file and then go to the Open Windows PowerShell and make sure that we are running as administrator. Next, once we are on this particular Windows shell, 
we're going to be pasting this onto the Windows PowerShell, which is to set the execution policy of our Windows to unrestricted. Hit the enter button. And it will ask you for this particular prompt. Just simply hit the Y key on your keyboard to signify yes and hit the enter button. And after that, we can now actually go ahead and run this particular file. Go ahead and just type in here the file name. So we have the file reset windows search box file. Go ahead and press the tab key on your keyboard and it should automatically fill out the remaining file name. Hit the enter button. And it will ask you again for this particular prompt. And we're going to be hitting the R to run once this particular shell script. And as you can see, it's now currently verifying the script is running elevated. It will automatically reset the Windows search box as well as all of its functionalities. Once done, it will show you this done and press any key to continue. And that should actually fix your problem. And as you can see right now, it's starting to show up the Windows search. Although as you can see, it's still closes on its own. So we can still do some patches or works later on. But if this worked out already for you, then you could already stop this video and leave me your thoughts if this already solved your problem. But in my case, as you can see, this still doesn't fully fix the problem. And then go to your taskbar and right click on your taskbar and click on Windows PowerShell as administrator. Type in here, SFC space forward slash scan now. It should already immediately conduct a verification of your system files and scan any particular corrupted files and repair them accordingly. So right now, as you can see, it already completed the particular system scan. And if it did find any integrity violations, it should have fixed it on its own. Go ahead and close this window and then go ahead and try once again if that worked out for you. And after doing all those stuff and you are still encountering this issue, we can now go ahead and perform the last solution that actually worked out to fix the type of error or search functionality issue that I've encountered on my windows. Go ahead and go to the task bar and right click on the start menu and then click on the run button. I'm gonna be typing once again the services that MSC, hit the OK button and then look for windows font cache service as you can see we're going to be maximizing this one again so that you could see it much clearly and as you can see this particular service is running fine with no particular issues but actually on my end this was the one that's actually causing headache on my windows 10 so go ahead and right click on this one hit this stop button right there right click on it once again and go to the properties and set this one as disabled hit the apply button and ok Go ahead and close this window and then go to your task bar and then click on task manager and then look for windows explorer we'll be able to see here windows explorer go ahead and click on the restart button and as you can see i have restarted my windows explorer and that should already immediately fix the problem on your end and hopefully any of those solutions actually did work out for you as it did work out for me if any of those solutions that i've shown you work out for you hit that like and subscribe button and let me know on the comment section down below again it's your tech dear see you in my next tech videos